Hey guys, I'm coming back from the club. I decided now is the perfect time to show my skincare routine. Cause all ladies coming back from the club, take your makeup off. Look, it's 3.30 for me and I'm still running through my skincare routine. So let's get through it. I'm also a little tipsy. Sorry about it. I have earbuds in because my earbuds died and I just need music right now. Um, I'm gonna try to be quiet because my roommate is sleeping. deep cleansing oil. I use this when I'm taking off my makeup when I'm not feeling lazy. I guess I'm really motivated right now because I usually wouldn't do this. But I also use it two to three times a week. When I first started using it, I used it every other day. But I've used it for about a year and a half now, so now I just do. Sorry, I just burped. Every day, like two or three times a week. DHC oil changed my life. I used to have a lot of blackheads on my nose. And I would always be like, how can people have such clear noses? It's DHC cleansing oil oil. I do three pumps. And I just gently massage around my face. And if you're first starting using this, you'll actually like feel the difference because you'll feel the oil leaving your pores. Now that I've used it a bunch, I don't have that much oil left in my pores. So I don't get a lot of grit out, but I would have loved to show you the grit because <laughs> I don't know if I'm weird, but like I'm, I used to be really into like pimple popping videos and stuff like that. So going on a tangent, but it makes my skin feel so clean because oil gets out oil the only way. After you've washed it, you want to pat your face dry with a towel. Pat. Never rub your face. Pat your face dry. I'm going to wet my face again and cleanse my face. This is a double cleanse routine. This is the cleanser I use. This is the Face Shops Rice Water Bright Foaming Cleanser. When I was younger in high school, I also used this cleanser. I can't remember the name right now, but I'll find it. I'll put it right here. That also worked wonders for me, but this is an Asian brand and I've been leaning more towards Asian brands just because it's like literally made for my type of skin. So yeah, I love this. I'm probably going to use this for the rest of my life. About, I got more than I usually do. It should be like half of that. I'm getting my hoodie so wet. I usually don't like to do my skincare routine with long sleeves on because water drips down my arms and I just kind of gently scrub it around. Cleansing is over, now it's time for products. Always follow up your cleanser with a toner. It tones your skin and makes your skin tone more even. This is the one I'm using right now. I've become a huge fan of Innisfree. I love Innisfree, I really do. This is the Innisfree Green Tea Seed Hyaluronic Acid Toner. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, my toners aren't very consistent. The only consistent thing is that they're all Innisfree. <laughs> and then I just pick whatever's on sale or what's cheapest at the time. And with the toner, you kind of want to pat it onto your face rather than rub. Um, I do rub here and there. <laughs> I won't lie. Because like how else I'm going to get it Tap, tap, tap. And then I just do a final little rub. Just get rid of the bubbles because then it makes me feel unfinished. All right, guys, listen carefully because this is my holy grail. Don't use tea tree oil on your face unless you've used toner first so that it can dilute it. I've been using tea tree oil since I was very young. So at this point, I can just dab it on. My skin's not, my skin's gotten very used to it. But if this is your first time using tea tree oil, be very minimal. It kind of burns. It makes your skin feel spicy. That's how I like to put it. I put these on my problem spot. So I just do a little drop and then I'll put it on a problem spot like I have this little stubborn little pimple scar on my cheek. Do some there and then I have a pimple on my nose. You can't see it. Cami, which is why I love Cami. And then I'm getting a lot on my forehead. Pat, pat, pat on my forehead. I'm getting hella things on my chin. And then 
can see this right under my eye. I just pat it on little problem spots and then I also pat it on just all over my nose really because that's like always been a big pore place for me so I just like to keep it cleansed. Because the whole point of tea tree oil is that it cleanses. I'm gonna be real guys, I don't know a lot about like the science of products and stuff like that but this is just what works for me. Yeah, please take everything I say with the grain of salt. And then I'll follow that up with a moisturizer. I'm telling you guys, I love Innisfree. Currently, I'm using the Green Tea Balancing Emulsion Moisturizer from Innisfree. It's almost running out, so I need to get more soon. I'll do like about a nickel, kind of like that much. And moisturizer, you can rub, right? My skin feels so spicy right now because of the tea tree oil. I'll follow that up with some eye cream. As you can see, I've had this for a while. I don't remember where I got it. I actually have texted my friend about this eye cream, so I'll find it. This is what it is. I really love this eye cream. I think my bags aren't that bad. And I'm telling you guys, I don't get a lot of sleep sometimes. So I really love this eye cream. I'm almost running out. The thing about eye cream, it's expensive, but it lasts a very long time. You're not supposed to use that much. This is more than usual because I'm not all here. <laughs> so I'm not making like reasonable judgments when it comes to amount. But then I'll divide it in two. Pat under my eye. Oh. And then gently rub and massage under the eye. And I'll also put it on my eyelid because it's my eye, why not? But I really like to concentrate it under my eye because that's what I'm worried about most. And then right now I'm using Vaseline because I got this when I was traveling and that's why I just want to finish it. But I like using Aquaphor at night, Vaseline in the morning. And I'll tell you a little bit more about my morning routine after we put on this Vaseline. I don't like to put too much because it's like sticky but i found and i actually got this hack from one of my bffs jane shout out jane she has really nice skin and so i asked her what she does and she puts a layer of aquaphor on her skin every night and so i started doing it and i've noticed when i wake up my skin is so nourished and moisturized and like glowy so i do it every night i also put some on my lips but i have to brush my teeth and then last but not least, I just recently started incorporating this in the beginning of the summer. So it's been about three-ish months now, maybe two, three, three-ish months now. I put castor oil on my lashes and I'm telling you guys, I've noticed such a difference. Like my lashes are so long and so healthy. Castor oil is where the magic happens. I used to use Grande Lash Serum and like live and die by that, it works. But when I stopped using it, like I noticed a big difference, but castor oil, my lashes don't just get longer, they get like stronger. So I really recommend switching to castor oil. I'll link the one I got in the description. What I really love about it is that it comes with a little spoolie and you don't want to use too much. So I don't even like, like use the droplet. I just use the excess that's on the wand, like so. Super simple, you just brush it through your lashes. And you really wanna to try to concentrate on the roots because that's where the hair grows from. I notice that I always do this eye first. So these lashes have like, on this eye have naturally just been getting a little longer because that's when like the most product is on the wand. So I'm trying to be more fair with my distribution now. And I really try to get these baby ones in the corner, but I can never really get it. I almost dropped that in the toilet, oh my God. But I didn't though. <laughs> and then because there's always a little bit of excess oil, I just like to blink my eyelashes on my finger to get any excess oil off. And then I'll wash my hands. Now the only difference with my morning routine versus my night one, which is the one I just showed you, it's actually a lot simpler. I'll only do the cleanser, followed by the toner, followed by the moisturizer. So no tea tree oil, no double cleansing. And then I use sunscreen. All right, I'm gonna have a serious chat with you right now. You need to wear sunscreen. You are not invincible against the sun. I don't care if you've never been sunburned before or it's like in your genes or you just think you're immune to the sun. You're not immune to the sun. The sun powers the entire earth and you are just an animal on the earth. The sun is so powerful. Wear sunscreen, guys. There's actually an article about truck drivers and the, the side of their face that is facing the window where the sun hits aged so fast compared to this side. Like there's a noticeable difference. I'll link that in the description as well. I don't want to come off as I'm lecturing, but you just need to wear sunscreen. All right, so the one I use, um, I don't know, my mom got this for me, but it says, thank you farmer on it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a brand. This is the sunscreen I use. I'll try to find it and link it in the description below. I'm gonna try to link everything in the description hopefully. And then I won't do the Vaseline and I won't do the eye cream and I won't do the castor oil. And if my skin doesn't feel very hydrated, I'll put a very thin layer of aquaphor on. But I try not to because it can also make your face look very oily and greasy. So I try not to do it during the day. And yeah, that's it. 
That concludes my skincare routine. It's 3.47 now. I don't know what time I first showed you, but this is how long it took to do that skincare routine while filming. So it's actually really short. If you happen to be watching this at 3 a.m., go take off your makeup, do your skincare routine. The you in the future will thank you in the morning. All right, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I am very curious about how it'll turn out. Um, and I'll see you next week. Bye.